So then your solution is just no more beta. What? What? No. What? There's a huge amount of number between 70,000 and 400,000 boxes. <laughs> like, there is... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go, Drunk George. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Hold on. I had a prop tonight. I got my prop ready. Ready for the props? Ready? Whoa, 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 welcome to me. This whoa, 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 welcome to me. This should be with you. America's most entertaining, but not informative, TCG podcast. You come here for the memes, not the dreams. I am, of course, joined by the man, Star Wars number one content creator, the man with the box openings, the man who has been sold out for weeks, just like the rest of America, Josh. That's not true. Just got another case, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Not sold out like the rest of America. <laughs> and I'm, of course, joined by the man. Hold on. I got put on my birthday hat. What is it? Oh. Happy birthday, oh, it's my birthday. to you. Yeah, Gosh, happy yeah. birthday right, to you. No, happy no. birthday, okay. Okay. dear Louie. Right. This is terrible content. This is happy awful. Happy birthday. Wow. And we are another joined, year closer to dying. We are joined by the margarita man himself, George. George, how many deep are you? <laughs> listen. Listen. It's not important. I, you know what? I'm going to say it. Spicy margs, the worst margs. You said that on the phone yes. with me earlier today. I didn't think you were actually. Then I, went, I got spicy <laughs> margs for someone. Like, yeah. Wait, hold on. What time was this? It was well. He was talking no, about last to... night. He was talking about getting last spicy night I got spicy margs with somebody. Night. George is yeah. two yeah. days in a row on spicy spicy margaritas. So I'm spicy marked up. <laughs> I don't even know what a spicy margarita is. It sounds Not like good. a crappy margarita. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad to be honest. Yeah. All right, everyone. It's welcome. Like no, the spice. No, oh, no, Louie, what do you want cares. for your birthday this year? Nothing. I want you to not. <laughs> oh my God! You want people to buy your T-shirts? Oh yeah, yeah. You can go to you can go to kitchentabletcg.com or gamegrove.gg and get our new shirts. This is the I got the the dragon one on today. There's five different of them in two different colors. Dragon. So ten shirts. Uh, we we did not we have not sold the ten yet for George to get a Hawaiian shirt. So you got another week to uh to get me to ten shirts sold. And um, yeah, okay. So uh, let's talk about what we're talking about. Trouble in art. Uh, there is um, a. We're gonna uh, really key... get into AI art this week, boys. Nope, really no get into AI. AI art this week. This is the opposite of AI. This is just copying from another person. Yeah, this would this would be fixed if we used AI art charge. Yeah. Yeah. Debatable. Um, then we're gonna talk about Thunder Junction. We're gonna get into sorcery's big week. There's finally something to talk about with sorcery. It is what it is. I heard this last week from yeah, my favorite. It is what it is from the largest sorcery content creator. It is we're, what it is. We're gonna stop talk about uh, Star Wars secondary market. Some things going on in that world. We're gonna do the first chapter reprint, and I think that's it. <laughs> that's all we got. <laughs> did we play we we cut one piece? No, we cut Metazoo. We cut Genesis. All we, right. need, we need to bring we need to bring it back. We need we need a meme topic. I think we should do a meta zoom in. All right. We I'll tell you what. I'm in. Eventually we will have an interview on this podcast with Mike Waddell where he can tell us what the hell happened <laughs> to Meta Zoo. I Mike, can think of Mike, we know we, you and we know you and your parents still listen to the podcast. We want you on the podcast, baby. All right, here's the question. Who's more likely to come on the podcast first? Mike Waddell or Taylor Swift? Mike, that's that's tough. Mike, I don't that's know. A no, that's Mike, a tough Taylor one. Swift, Taylor Swift is so far beyond this that it's unbelievable. I I don't disagree with that. That's comment, not the question. Comment section, let us know who's more who's more unlikely. All right, here we go. So, uh, so this guy, <laughs> this guy Faye Dalton, got got put on blast on Twitter by another artist, of which he said. Hey, imagine, like, this is how this guy handles it. I love it. I love it. He just asks the artist, Hey, Faye Dalton, do you mind not stealing my work on highly paid public commercial commissions in the genre which I make my living and hold my reputation deal? deal? Okay. Here, this is criminal and theft. Whoever is running the May the Zoo Be With You Twitter, I would like you to tweet at Louie that every time he puts one of our episodes on the air. Why? 
I, you're stealing my work. Yeah, I also feel like you're using my likeness. Yes, it might not be exactly yes. me, but it's I'm likable. You both I'm likeable. signed up for this. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Under great duress. I was oh. under spicy mark. So, <laughs> yes, there was many spicy marks you before. You spicy marked up. Uh, so this guy not just a little bit stole. Like remember last week when we were talking uh, yeah. about our AI horror, we were talking about like AI kind of steals themes, and you guys were like, "That's fine, it's okay to steal from people." Uh, and I was like, "You wouldn't steal a car, right?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy just cut, just cut almost all of it, almost all of it uh, from the Cyberpunk Punk 2020 artwork. <laughs> It's pretty bad. Uh, so here's how you know it's a big story. It came across. I I heard about it before yeah. Louis told me about it. Like I heard about this this way. Even like I love that background. he just did like the one. Yeah. He did like the 180 face. Like he just did like the 180. Yeah, yeah. and like threw a vest on it that he got from like yeah. an like open it was source. like what you did was last week with being upside down. He just basically did that. Yeah. Um. Like. I mean, listen, this is wild. Uh, I'm also like, how did he think he wouldn't get caught? That like it, that. It, like that. Was your control C, control V. Yeah, that's the part that I don't understand. Is how do you do this and be like, yeah, this is gonna go fine. <laughs> this is gonna go fine. I, yeah, I mean, like it's just the same thing. Yeah, I, I, I gotta tell you, I never, I don't, I don't follow art. I don't care about art and TCGs. Not something that speaks to me. This was wild. This was insane. Is there any? Is there any responsibility on Wizards of the Coast part to make sure this doesn't happen? I mean, they're not going to have a good day. Like, somebody stole their art. Like, that's not a great day for them. But, like, how Like, how can they? Maybe yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's fair. the use of AI. Yeah. There you go. That's the use of AI, is every piece of art that's submitted is checked to see if it's copied. Yeah. They said use AI in the company. They didn't necessarily they're gonna say they're gonna do it for art. So there you go. Tools like that. But I don't know, man. You you'd scour the entire art world and hope that somebody has seen the I guess piece before. Yeah. Like I guess that's too much. I guess a, an AI art tool would be pretty cool to be able to run that through. You could but do like, like a even, Google image search. I don't think I don't think Google reverse image search would be able to pop up. <laughs> like I don't think it would be that it would be accurate enough. Uh, there was like some people buying out copies of Trouble in Paris as a result of this, though. Which is, yeah, yeah, which is I, wild. It but, crossed my mind. It crossed my mind. I guess I like, it is like reserve list artwork. It's a good card too. Like it's a, it's a, it's the one of the best cards in the set, uh, which is also another you know problem. But. <laughs> That's just which is why again, how do you think this is not going to get caught? <laughs> well, he didn't know what the. I mean, that doesn't matter. It does. I I don't think you should submit. If you submit art for an indie TCG, maybe you can fly under the radar. You're not submitting art for Magic and not getting caught copywriting the work. Like so, well, Magic didn't catch this. I mean, it got through no. all the way to release yeah, and printed. I, I'm not saying Wizards is going to catch it, but the community's yeah. how many millions of people? Someone's catching it. Yeah. Absolutely wild. Yeah. All right, George. So do you go and buy a bunch of Trouble in Paris cards now? Yeah, we can't reprint this, right? This is no. this is art reserve list. Yeah, now we get to see what happens. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy 500 of of them and write one through 500 on them. <laughs> it is serialized cards and unique art. I did it. So okay, if you're wizard, this is the new Watsi. What do you, do you take the commission from this guy and give the money to the original artist? I I don't know what. I, like contractually, what would that entail? Like, don't like the artist get paid like fourteen dollars and like a free burrito. <laughs> like, I mean, just get, I give out wizards oh. buying both burritos, burritos all around, baby. I think they should give the commission art the commission money to. I am assuming this is a contract question. Are we dunk? Are we dunking on artists getting paid? Somebody was uh, somebody was saying that there would be a lawsuit between the owners of Cyberpunk twenty twenty and. Wizards, and then that, the the response was like, "No, that wouldn't happen unless Wizards was making this like an acceptable thing to do." Yeah, like I, I don't want you to. I mean, like Wizards clearly did. Like Wizards presumably did not know about this. I can't imagine they would be like, "Yeah, that's cool. You still, yeah, from another card of mine." Like that would. 
that yeah. would that would surprise me a little bit. Yeah, especially because I mean we've talked about how early they have this stuff planned in advance, right? Like we got the whole 2024 roadmap last year. We got previews into 2025. Whole sets, let's go, baby. They've had to, they've had to know what this the piece was going to be on this card for some time. I don't think they were like, yeah, let it ride. Like I can't yeah, well, imagine baby. that. Yeah, they didn't know about it before. No. The, well, well, mm-hmm. before the guy tweeted at him. <laughs> Do you think he like reached out to to Wizards first? Do you think he just went straight to Twitter? Yeah, I think he like, no Twitter. way he reached out to anybody but Twitter first. He gets it. <laughs> That's you 100% go straight to for Twitter. this podcast. That dude, MVP of the podcast. Yeah. MVP of the podcast. I'm not. I think I probably would have reached out to, to Magic first before I just got Why? on the Twitter. I don't know. You have to put yourself in the mind There's frame of no an artist. No way you would have. I no. know you. I think I would have. Put yourself in the mind frame of an artist. You're brooding. You're creative. You're probably a little angsty. You're just going to go straight to Twitter. Yeah. That's fair. Anyway, I, I'm a beautiful artist. I don't think there's much else to say about this one, but I'm the worst. I am the worst artist. Okay, really quick, which one of us is the best artist? Me. Who, who is who? Are, who's getting ripped off? Are you allowed to use AI or not? <laughs> who's the best artist? No, Definitely are you me. allowed to use AI or not? Who's the best artist, Louis? And what is art like? Drawing? What's our What's our medium? You are not allowed to ask that after your tirade last week or two what's weeks ago. What's our medium? Who's Who's the best artist? George, you go first since Louis what? wants to play like small town community so, lawyer. I have, it's scraping to make, I have make three meaningful scars on my body. One of them Where was from. Go? my middle school art class shout out to her i like we had to do that stupid clay thing where you dig like the clay out then you press it you guys did this too you literally went to school in a cave we don't know how this works george and i cut the living beep out of my finger and i was like hey i need to go to the nurse i like for real cut myself but it was too deep so it wasn't bleeding enough and she was like, no, you're fine. Walk it off. And I was like, that makes sense. I'll walk it off. So like, I go to my next class. Like, It starts to like really hurt. I'm like, hey, like, can I go wash my hand? Like, You can this, cut something deep enough that it doesn't bleed? Like, because like, it, it goes, it goes like, it, yeah, because like the blood's like in the, like a certain like front layer. It's also on your finger. It's not like a main artery there. And I and then she was like, what the hell is wrong with your hand? You need to go to the nurse. Then I went to get stitches. Hmm. I bled for my art. That was the point of that story. Mm. These hands bleed for art. I, I, I gotta won't, see. I won't take the best artist. I'm terrible. Artist. I, I, yeah, I don't think that that. I think I, my money would be on Josh being the best artist. Yeah. In this group. First of all, not true. Nowhere close. I'm a computer guy. What do you mean? Like, what yeah. are we talking about? So like my my grandpa was like a real artist. Like he's like like he retired and made sculptures and sold sculptures and paintings for like his retirement living. Did not get any of that. I did not get that. Yeah, yep. My sister got all of that. Um, <laughs> Ironically, my grandfather makes home like homemade videos with like transitions and stories. If you've watched <laughs> my content, I didn't get any of that. So it's it's, I, it's it, I'd like to say it skips a generation and jumps back on, but it doesn't. Your grandfather makes homemade videos. Yeah, with like stories, like he <laughs> tells a story and like takes pictures of like blue herons and cranes and stuff. Yeah. He's really good at it too. That's awesome. <laughs> Did you not know that? No. He's a really good videographer. He used to do it when they has to, you have to like put it on a VHS, copy Wait, it to a computer, on. copy it back to a VHS. It's crazy. There's a difference between my grandfather is a videographer, yeah. and my grandpa makes homemade videos. Like like home <laughs> like yeah like home. Movie. Your dad was the original OF. <laughs> I thought he was showing the biscuits. No, he'd be way richer than he is right now. <laughs> like, what that is guy's going got a main up here. He'd be way richer <laughs> than he is right now. Josh is, dro- Josh is dropping this Nikki link right here on the Me the Zuby oh, with you. Yeah. First of all, if I'm dropping an OnlyFans, it's mine. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, do you did remember he sell? When we were, George, did, he, did he sell the home videos? Like, no. I don't. So like, he just like he like videoed birds and just like kept them. Yeah. And maybe he, made, he made a YouTube channel way back when YouTube was still new. He's got a bunch of YouTube videos out with him. Yeah, cool. drop that link in the comment section. I, I, I don't. Josh, that's cool. That is not. 
my grandpa <laughs> made my grandpa makes homemade videos. The, that's, that phrase, that's exactly what those are. No, they're not. <laughs> you, do, do your you relationship, your, your like, hey, relationship guys, with your grandparents is very unique, isn't it? Sure. My grandparents are dead. It is very unique. They're gone. They're dead. Um, well, that makes this weirder. Should, should <laughs> I go walk around and be like, hey, guys, my wife, should be, what do you do? I make homemade videos. That's what I do. My my husband makes homemade videos about I, cards. I would say I Wait. live off the towel of my friends if I were you, Louie. That's what I would say. Are you are your videos not homemade? Do you just steal them from other people? I guess I make homemade videos. I guess we are homemade video creators. Where That's, where are you right now? I guess I'm in my my home. I'm in the hometown TCG studio. <laughs> Nailed right. it. Gotcha. That was gotcha. wild. That was a wild tangent. Uh, can you tell me what that channel is, real quick? I don't know it off the top of my head. Wow. I have to go find it. Some grandson you are. That's terrible. He hasn't made a made like h- uploaded something to it in probably ten years, eleven years. Louis hasn't uploaded a video in like a month and a half, and people still tolerate him if it helps. That's not him. true. I guessed the card and won the card just the other day. Okay. Is that true? No. Hmm. Thunder Junction. Oh my god. Didn't we do this the last three weeks? Uh so we have the draft archetypes out, which I think is kind of cool. Wild Wild West. Um and we also have some cool cards. I think the coolest card so far, in my opinion, is the uh, the Lotus Ring, which seems like a pretty big deal. When was Lo- the last time we had a card with Lotus in it that didn't suck? <laughs> uh, wasn't there a... Not, um, not Jeweled Lotus, because that one was good. There was some Lotus that was like a three mana thing that cost... Oh, a suspended one. When, when was that? Lotus Bloom? Is that what that was? Yeah. So- yeah. That one wasn't very good. Uh, this is a three cost equipment artifact with indestructible equip three and equip creature gets plus three plus three as if that wasn't enough threes um, has vigilance and can sacrifice the creature and add three mana of any one color. It's a great card. That's like really powerful. Josh, you can, you can tell it. you can tell they're bending the power curve of this set a little bit. And I think that's really what George this really set needed. had on Twitter. Good for him. Yeah, George yep. really has been on Twitter. How do you before. how do you break this, Josh? The, like, wait, what do you mean? You played you play in Commander. Like, <laughs> wait. So this won't mean? see any modern play. It won't see no, any play anymore. No, it won't see any modern. An equipment that comes down on turn three takes a turn to equip and then gives you the mana you spent to equip it. No, it's too slow. I, I just too want slow. you to say that out loud so that when you're wrong, I can be like, "Hey, you were wrong." I am that's saying that out loud. That was. That yeah, was. It, that's not. It, this card doesn't break modern. Okay. No. No. Cool. It does bend the power curve, though. <laughs> Downwards? Anyway. Uh, those... Wait, is it not a good card? I think it's a good card. I think it's going to be good. What's the best card of the set, Josh? No idea. That's what I, can only set it up. I can only throw the softball. I, I, don't, I don't really feel got... like listening to the... <sighs> We got another... Well, we I would have agreed with whatever you said, Josh. I want you to know We that got part. another reprint of Grand Abolisher. Um, the hell so is that? Happened. Uh, that's, that's a good card. It's a pretty popular. Yeah. Um, is creature. that in the is that in the big score? That's in the standard set, right? That's in the vault. Oh, yeah. never mind. Vault. Okay. Oh, we didn't talk about the two dollar collector boxes. That would have been a much better topic than this nonsense. It's, well, that's part of this. It's it's oh. on it's on the docket, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to made the soup be with you, George. Um, and good. then pest control, another cool one. Destroy all non land yeah. permanents with Wait, pets or one pest. Of us. Pest. Pest. P e s t. A little uh, a good little anti token. Killer there. Pretty cool. Suck it, Oko. Oko, n- not a token. But they had food tokens. It generate it generates an el- it elks things and generates food tokens. So I guess technically, <sighs> technically I nailed it. Uh, I nailed it. If you call uh, that, if you're this will be real analysis. If you're playing pest control as an answer to Oko and anything, you've lost. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. Good day, sir. I'm starting to think people shouldn't take what I think about TCGs very seriously. I starting to feel that way. Me too. I looked through the draft. Genesis. I looked through the draft archetypes, uh, and I think the set seems much more like organized for the your yeah. average Magic player. And I think I that's agree. a big win. I think yeah. the set's going to do well for limited, and I think pre-release on this one's going to be pretty big because I think people are going to be excited because they know how to play the like the mechanics are pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think a lot of it comes down to plot like spree seems pretty self-explanatory plots the weird one right i i I feel like initial 
initial play with plot is going to cause some some bumps in the road. But if that's the only bump in the road you got, right, that's not that bad. That's a pretty decent experience. Well, and it's only one archetype, too. It, yeah, it, it's sure. not built throughout the entirety of the set, which I think is a big win. Um, because like you have like a big creature one, right? Like you've got gruel, stompy, big creature playable right. in this. Like that, that's a that's a good win. So yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm I'm like really excited for pre-release. So I think it's the only thing that irritates me is still the six subsets. Yeah, so like I it's just too many. Yeah, I know that we that we decided we hated all aftermath things and we had to jam it all together, but man, it's a lot. So well, well, you can get those six subsets in your two hundred dollar plus free shipping boxes from TCG Player uh, <laughs> ten days before pre-release. Welcome to the Magic: The Gathering market, everybody. Um, it is impossible for uh, stores. So, if you uh, want to support the channel, you can use the affiliate link in my no. description of my videos. You can so. only do that if you have already bought a T-shirt, though. Um. Wow. The banana really thing, they just, the t-shirts this week. They just keep changing. Yeah. Uh, they just keep changing the sellers on these products. Wait, it's Wait. not the same seller. No, no, it's not. This one's the banana stand and they have a rating oh, one out of five. That's not banana fair. The stand banana stand, stand is a pillar of this community. In they, fact, I would go as far to say as the banana stand is a tent pole seller. They have a one out of five feedback for will not respond to messages or accept changes to an order. <laughs> So, what is the banana stand? I've never heard of them. Uh, they're in Missouri. Oh, they have 50,000 plus completed sa- sales. That's a lot of sales. They are the official sponsor of this podcast. So shout out to them. Ring, ring, ring. One, of these, days, ring, ring, one of these days, stand. one of these companies is going to reach out to us and be like, ring, 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 we did not officially sponsor you. Yeah, I keep in trouble. kind of trying to hit that you couldn't do that in case. Well, like, people know that I'm hint. joking. Yeah, that I don't. I well. I expect a um, check, a fat check, to come through from the banana stand. Wow, they're twenty dollars less than the next keepest. Yeah, and they came out today with TCG player with this whole on blasting. So I want to know what does the banana stand do to get that from TCG player? Like, are they paying fees? Got to change your name. Who? They, who wait, no, in no, the no. hell was like I got a great name for a TCG store? What is it? The banana stand. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, the banana stand. The ma- banana stand, Missouri. That ain't gonna be a good Google. That ain't gonna be a good <laughs> <No>. Google. <laughs> the, ban- the, the banana stand at Penn Island Road. Be good. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm Googling it with the, the search on the screen right now. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you might Google this is the last that episode of Nathan to be with you. <laughs> it's been uh, great. There's, there's no like LGS called that. So it's just that's, some guy in a warehouse in Missouri. That's because it's not an LGS. <laughs> we need to know this by now. That's well, wild. What's our it's cost? Not of an LGS. That? It can't be much less than that. Uh, yeah. I mean, after if they're paying fees and shipping, they're losing money. Yes. They're um, not Pokemon. Spoiler alert. Hold on. There's a deal somewhere. If I sold that on TCG player, just the shipping would make it my cost. It'd be $10 in shipping is about our cost. Um, like we acknowledge this, right? Though it, they have some kind of, they have to have some kind of deal. Yeah, and like in order to sell on TCG Player for presale, you're supposed to be a brick and mortar store, and they obviously aren't because you look up their name and they're not. Um, so that's great. They're not. They're they're awesome. a road they're a roadside stand that sells fruit. It's probably you know uh, what it is. It's no. probably it's just TCG Player. It's Card Shop Live. Okay. <laughs> So I want to have an open invite. If you work for or own the banana stand, we will have you on this podcast next week and we will be kind to you. I just want to know the naming story. I don't really care so much about you selling boxes that cheap. That doesn't matter to me. I, I will, just want to know how you came up with the name. I will only allow that to happen if they are in a banana costume, though. And if you have bought a t-shirt from the website. <laughs> I don't have any of these caveats. I just want to know want to why know does work. TCG player think that this is a win? Because they're selling 10 trillion boxes. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? Like, this is a huge one for TCG. They, they player. went from 200 collector boxes sold to over 2,000. Yeah, this is a mm. huge win for TCG players. So they are taking fees then. They're taking significantly reduced fees, I'm sure, but they're, they're taking, taking fees. no fees. It's a huge win for TCG player. And just it's a huge it gets people, Just because it yeah. gets people on their So side. other products from the set did pick up in sales when this deal kicked off. Part of that's also we're just getting closer to release. That's going to happen. But this is a massive win for TCG player. Yeah. 
I guess the comment section will say that it's a massive win for the consumer too, which is probably true. Um, it's, it, it's, it is only true if you don't like your LGS. <laughs> well, what is a murders at Carlisle I mean, Manor? I don't care if you like your LGS or not. I don't care. But like, murders at Carlisle Manor collector booster is 157. And this is what I was kind of alluding to. <laughs> when you God. just. God, they really did just copy Pokemon, didn't they? Yeah. When, <laughs> when really you like, said like this is just market. a win for the consumer. No, <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. No, Consumers, no. this is not a win. For no. Holy no. moly. Murders no. is 156. Dude. God. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Dude, wild. How, how... I'm so glad I ordered so lightly of at this new set. The problem is it's going to wreck me for MH3. No, it's not. You there's think gonna I, more, there's going to be more MH3 than you know what to do with. Okay, good. I'm so disappointed. I thought magic. Is, Modern Horizon 2 is Ave Maria. <laughs> Modern Horizon 2 is pretty rough. It's pretty bad. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm pretty concerned about Modern Horizons 3. Why? Oh. We've seen that we've we've seen this movie already. We saw it last year. They have the monkey. the monkey in the set. We did You're the talking Commander about Masters Commander set. Masters? Yeah, we did. We did this. We did a, a the entry level box being three hundred and fifty dollars did not bode well. And George kept telling me how great it was going to be, and it still to this day did not bode well. So there's no set box. It's just play, it's play collector. No draft. Yeah, and the gift bundle. Is so it's there. weird because Commander Master's feet. Draft actually is doing pretty good. Commander Master's Draft is actually like surprisingly you know good right now. Do you know why? Because Magic's Goat? Because Commander Master's is Goat. You got it. Hmm. Well, set box is not doing so good. Um, Damn it, set boxes. They're doing a new thing with the collector. The collector. <laughs> so Commander decks, the Commander Collector decks, if you run extra... Uh, drafts of Outlaws at Thunder Junction, you get increased supply of the commander deck, the collector commander deck. So we're doing like, we're going to do like three drafts a week. <laughs> like I told my store, I was like, you guys are going to be drafting for like $8.50. Is there no cap to that? Is it like really just like, I don't know. There... I'm going to do so many drafts. I'm going to do drafts at cost. I'm going to give away play packs. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get so many of those stupid collector decks, and then you know what's gonna happen, right? They're gonna tank to the complete absolute bottom. But it'll you get be the fun. decks for free, or do you get to buy extra decks? No, you get more allocation. Of course not for free. It's like it's like in Destiny. Are you serious? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get. It increased. only increases your allocation. Yeah. What you think it did? I thought they got you free decks. Yeah, right. you you are you have had too many margaritas. If you think Watsy's giving you spicy free margaritas, stuff. they were zesty. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, you know what? They good. had that crazy red spike tagine. Is that what it's called on this on the rim? Not bad. The stuff that's got like a little hint of lime in it. Yeah, not bad. Funny story. Funny story about that. We went to our honeymoon in Mexico. My wife thought that's the only place you could get that stuff. She's like, not we true. have to bring it home with us in I our luggage. I don't think I've ever had a margarita. Wait, what? Think, Next week, this what? podcast will be brought I, to you I by Spicy Margaritas. I don't think you I've serious? ever had a margarita. No, All I right, just do you all want to do margarita? Want to do a margaritas I'm, next week, everybody? I'm so boring when it comes yeah. to drinks. I just no, I, you could just end it with I'm so I boring. I just don't know how you do a margarita and not make it a frozen strawberry margarita. Is that is it, what's the difference between a frozen strawberry margarita and a daiquiri? Strawberry or daiquiri? Nothing. Probably nothing. Who cares? Okay, then I've had a margarita. <laughs> I also love pina coladas more than any of the others. Oh, oh I don't like the coladas are so coffee. good. No, I got pina coladas. God, Get you're singing this me. week. Candle. I sing you it's a beautiful song. A yoga. Basically, by right. myself. Something by Michael. So that's King. enough magic. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, here we go. If you love making love at midnight. It is what it is. The so sorcery George story. is what it is, baby. All right, sorcery had a big week this week. Um, uh, <laughs> not going to call them sponsors of the podcast. I like how you won't call them sponsors. <laughs> no, because that one will actually get caught. That one, that one's actually. You don't think the banana stand is going to listen to this podcast? No, the banana stand doesn't exist. We just googled them. <laughs> We just subjected our entire audience to lewd us. images. 
The to banana prove. stand surrounds us. It is all encompassing. It is the tent pole release seller on <laughs> TCG Player. Do you think the car, the the TCG Player people are just like in a board meeting? They're like, "What's the funniest name we could come up with for our <laughs> card shop line?" All right, all right. If you work for TCG Player, that's what happened. Come on the podcast and tell us. I'll think way more highly of you. <laughs> They're like, "How about the banana stand?" Uh, the, all right. ne- if the next one is the tent pole store, we know they listen to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ten pole games. No, it's gotta be a it's gotta be a, a T. I don't know. All right. Um so Team Covenant uh ran out of beta boxes. They sold out of beta boxes on their site, and then they made an announcement in the Discord server that said we are sold out, we will never have product again. They didn't say the last part I added, I added that. But they are sold out of product and they announced that they are sold out of product. We assume what this means is that they don't have any product left. Why do we assume that? What well, else could it be? Little that's... history. There's a little history there. <laughs> little history <laughs> lesson. We, we little are going to go lesson. through this podcast with the <laughs> assumption that they are telling the truth. Um, this time? So then, uh, then Sorcery said nothing. And then the next day, Sorcery came out and they made an announcement or a couple days later. I guess it's been like four or five days. My week's been. I have a tree down. We're lucky that we even have power. It's been. A, it's been a week. Uh, sorcery then came out today or yesterday. Uh, today's Tuesday, right? This is nobody cares about the timeline. You just gotta say it. Buddy. Well, I, I'm it trying out. to find where just I wrote down what they just said. What so they said. <laughs> nobody will be like, no jerk. It was Monday at noon. Roughly, here's what they said. Beta is currently sold out and in high demand worldwide. Beta will see a small reprint with the release of Arthurian Legends. Arthurian legends and all sets moving forward will be released in waves to avoid the avoid the world from being devoid of product for a large period of time like today. And it's too soon to confirm a revised or un- unlimited. Oh, set. God. All right. I was about to say the big win here is there's no revised. Do not do revised. I'm begging you. They will definitely that is do that. so disgusting. They will definitely do that. Oh, don't do it. Wait, why, do you, not, you, hold on, why do you think you that? ain't magic, dog? You ain't because, magic. Because do your own beta, thing. Because beta was advertised as a limited set. It wasn't advertised as a mass produced. We're going to reprint this as many times. Then what, so the point. So the, what's the point of the game? If every if it's if it's every set is limited, like you got to have people play your well, game. Presumably the revised version wouldn't be it would be unlimited. So like <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad we're going back to unlimited. Would it, would it, God, I'm so happy we're back to unlimited. Do you think Unlimited will be investable, Louie? Will you do a video about that for me? (laughs) (laughs) I do not. We all all think that's not a good idea, right? I don't. Louie will carry the water. Don't worry. Louie will strap on the buckets and carry the water up the hill for us. Josh, (laughs) go ahead, Louie. Defend it. I think this is way... I agree with them that it is way too soon currently to do a revisor and Unlimited. I mean, eventually, you need, eventually, you need those cards to be more widely accessible. And reprint beta. Am I taking crazy pills? I, f- I feel like we're what we have so, seen this movie. <laughs> we've not seen. There's like there's a difference between the movie we've seen and what you guys are talking about, and realistic company that has some form of bearing and isn't just trying to cash out on their consumers for every ounce of dollar they have. There's a di- there's like a gap between those two things. You guys understand that, right? Like there's a no. huge number. I'm not sure there's a you, huge I'm amount sure of numbers. Compared let's, say to beta, you, let's say beta is 70,000 boxes. Okay? There's a huge amount of number between 70,000 and 400,000 boxes. <laughs> like there is a lot. There's a lot of numbers there. All right, Louie, I will I will carry the water with you under one condition. You have to do a video saying unlimited is investable. No, I, I will not do that. I, I will not. I don't. I will. You at least say this is your last chance to buy a car I, now that it's pumping. I refuse to say anything is investable anymore. Nothing is investable. That is, I've been burned too many times. I will keep putting my <laughs> money into things. Nothing is investable publicly. But, so, so, so you just use the sentence "I've been burned too many times." <laughs> here we are. Yeah, so but not like, by this like, team. This time, <laughs> not by this, this time. time it's never. And, and I went to therapy, <laughs> and it clearly didn't work because here we are again. <laughs> 
Like, no, we're not there again. Hey, they're uh, not even. That's not even their whole. They uh, didn't even talk like, about like, that. Uh, what? Like, why do you think beta should be investable? Because that's what you're basically arguing. Um, I think beta should respect the idea that some people's first entry point into sorcery was beta. But why wouldn't you want that to be the most prevalent set? Like, why wouldn't you want people who what have beta to feel good about having beta? I, I I do want them to feel good about having so it. So then reprint beta so people can feel good about it. The problem with getting unlimited and revised and everything else is you feel like a a a, a, a you know a lesser than no, because when you're people, playing with unlimited. Because, Not me. I would like the record to reflect I played with white label, white border. So it's interesting of like what would unlimited be? Because like there's no borders at all on sorcery cards. So they can't really change the borders. What are they going to do? Add a border? I hope, God, I hope they don't go that route. Like that seems like a terrible. I hope word. they only use AA art. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The same art people are like, oh, my farts don't smell. These card arts are amazing. They'll be like, AI art's amazing. How dare people not love yeah, it now? They, they switch their top. They will switch instantly. Um, that would never happen. Um, I think that, I think that beta like, I don't. Frankly, I don't care if they were to come out and say they are reprinting beta 100. Uh, percent They're going to be fully in the hands of people. I would think that that's fine because they haven't come out and said that like it was a one-time print or anything like that. But like, I also think this is a fine dynamic too. They're putting a another amount into the hands of LGSs that are running events on um, the Play Network, Sorcery Play Network. So I think that's what I think that's a huge win. I think that's a good way to do it. They're showing value in the in the LGS. They're also showing that they are willing to print additional product in order to to meet demand. And that's and to, great. And they should do that. They just shouldn't have fifth. They they should just keep it at beta. Yeah, but unlimited or whatever. This could come out in two years. They're not talking about. It should never come out. It should why never, though? It, so what, so so you just keep in, printing beta forever. It's not yeah, beta anymore. What happens when you hold on, hold on? What happens when you have to change up cards and make sure things get errated and changed and whatever? You're yeah, just gonna... that's never happened in any other TCG before with different boxes that have come out with the same name. That's a good point, Louie. Like but, Pokemon, but like, Magic, Okana, never happened before. So Lorcana should just keep printing the first chapter in. That's in what three they're years. doing. In three they years, they cards. should hold on. No. In three years, they should just keep printing first chapter. No, yes. it's gone. Yes, they could print first chapter until they're done printing first chapter, then that box is done. Yes, that's the way every other game does it. There's there's, no there game. should be a day that they stop printing beta. Whether you call it unlimited, those cards, that collection of cards right. together in a box, there should be a day that that stops being printed. There is no right. successful game that has 14 kinds of boxes with the same cards in it. Like, it just doesn't work. We've seen it not work. We've seen it we objectively seen not work. Not work. We, we have we've literally, it. like, three times... Gosh, this is the time for the MetaZoo packs. Get on it. I can't I can't do it. I, well, it in MetaZoo's defense. In MetaZoo's defense. <laughs> oh, what on. a wild turn. <laughs> they only did that once. God, the fact that they didn't do cryptid, first edition, second edition, and MetaZoo unlimited. <laughs> real a big miss what, by Mike. Why that was the keep, problem. That was why, the problem. Why did they keep putting first edition on it when it was like abundantly clear that there would never be a second edition? I'm not gonna lie, the problem is MetaZoo, that's not one of my top tens. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I think you guys are getting a little too hung up on the the unlimited. It was a very minor discussion point. Basically, he was saying, "No, we're not going to do unlimited at this time." They they didn't say we're going to do it. <laughs> they didn't say we're going to do it in three years. They just said we're not <laughs> going to do it at this time. And we're sharing our thoughts. Okay, dig up, stupid. Don't. I I still think. That in that water. three years, if if there's still oh. demand for the singles, George, who's getting do... stuck hung up on the unlimited conversation now? Who's the guy, I, the guy with the water on, up on that? Is it you and I? I don't feel like it is. <laughs> the guy with the bug, the guy carrying the buckets. Oh I got God. your back. <laughs> um, did, uh, did you drag think... your bag to your office while you started this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> you leave it at the store. <laughs> uh. You beta. wanted us to engage more with sorcery. You're I welcome. Love it. I love it. I'm having a blast. Doesn't feel like it. Doesn't beta, feel like it. Beta being reprinted to LGSs, I think, is a really big win. That's a big win. That, I, yes. That's a true statement. Now, I only hope that Team Covenant and Rudy still get 90%. That would be like that's what I really hope, though. That's like th listen, what they said, and <laughs> let's uh, let's hold them to this. 
what what they said is that this would be given to LGSs who are hosting events on the Play Network. So, like, if Rudy and Team Covenant come out with a resupply, <laughs> that is not what they have said here. So, let, let's see what happens. Well, um, yeah, it feels like it's tough to hold those events right now because to get the boxes, you have to hold the events. To get people in for the events, you generally have to have the boxes. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, here's what we need to do. Here, all right, here, you ready for the you ready for the biggest brain idea ever for a sorcery event? Oh, how many margarita brain ideas? This, this is, is a margarita idea. You bring a whiteout marker, <laughs> and you have to create a white border on your cards before you're allowed to play the event, and only alpha packs are given as prizes. So you can sacrifice your beta cards for the chance to win alpha packs. Wow. Boom! Um. So biggest takeaway for me in the market Unlimited. is I don't understand why beta is pumping and alpha has done nothing. Because like, the, will you put up? Will you Google a GIF of bubble popping for me? Get to put it up there. For me? <laughs> wait, wait, you don't understand? Be, what? Will you no, Google it, that for me? Get that. I, the one I that understand. Goes like, I understand why beta is is going up. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that for you. Thank you. Bubble popping GIF. I'm here for memes, so. How do you, can you just get a? Yeah, that's, that's that works. Yeah, it's not working. I got advertisements. Um, I'm here to entertain the people while you do this. Go ahead, do uh, that. I understand why beta is pumping because it, it it went out of print or whatever. But there should be a correlation between beta and alpha. I think it'll be interesting. I keep to waiting see. for old scratch every time. Every time I keep waiting <laughs> for old scratch. Every single time. I think it'll be. <gasps> Dude, black whore, black whore. Metazoo cards rip so easy. Have you ever lit a Metazoo card on fire? <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> this, this guy, dude. This no, guy. you can't do it in your house. It, that that <laughs> thing lights so freaking quick. How did you figure that out? I burned a lot you, of Metazoo hold cards. On. I think we all know how he figured that out. I've used did it, Metazoo did you at least cards. do the full test first. I've been doing Metazoo cards for oh. um for like kindling for like. Way longer than anybody else has thought about it, Louis. That I have no doubt about. <laughs> yeah, that's like that is not. I'm not sure that this the flex you think it is, but everybody here the agrees. Foils, with you. Too, the foils burn like a. They burn. You like a have green. 45 kinds of Chinese cancer. <laughs> they, they burn like a green, and they smell really funny. Yeah. Um. All right. Anyway. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my my biggest <laughs> surprise for this at least this is going to be a short podcast <laughs> my biggest surprise from this is nothing until Arthurian Legends that's the big miss yeah that's a weird miss yeah I don't get that one so there's going to be no boxes in the market for the next seven months and and then sorcery six, 6k boxes from Rudy next week that's good I was worried about Rudy and Sorcery's whole thing is they capitalize, right, on the, the one release a year. That's their moment. And they're going to water it down with, hey, it's also beta re-release. You think, it, well, how does it water it down? Right, because it's not it's not the only thing happening. There's other things going on. Some yeah. money is going to be pulled. If beta was out there right now, people, people aren't saving up their money and being like, okay, now I can afford six boxes of beta and Arthurian Legend. No, they'd normally buy them as they go and then... Buy as much Arthurian Legends as they want or can afford. Most people aren't that forward thinking. They just spend as it happens. When you release all of this at the same time, they don't save up for those seven, eight months and then bring that whole stack of cash and be like, this is what I would have bought over those yeah. eight months. That's I guess a- it depends on how many boxes you're talking of beta. If a store is getting 300 boxes, then that matters. If stores are getting six boxes, that that probably doesn't matter in terms of like taking money away from yeah. the community. Well, we had this um, we had this conversation, and it says on the phone, it's limited reprint, and that to me, that's a scary phrase, right? What's a limited reprint? Is it is it two boxes per store? Is it ten boxes yeah, per store? Wars. Is it you know? Yeah, I mean, I think it'll have something to do with events being run. I think it'll have something to do with like the the organization of events in the community and that kind of thing. I mean, yeah, but like, how do you organize events right now? Like you said, I mean, we've talked well, about tons it. of events. Going. We just had 48 people at the, at the qualifier. You've got the Cortesian cup going on. You've got that's the, the same qualifier. That's the same qualifier. Ours was a qualifier. The thing. But those, 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 the battle, the, those, the, those are the, the major the, events. Those aren't your weekly sorcery meetup. 
That's not yeah, your Friday, sorcery, whatever Friday Night Magic is for sure. Hold on. Why does sorcery have to go the line of like a weekly event that's well, a big deal every only the, week? Because you just said it's based on event turnout and hosting events. So the only people eligible for boxes or significant number of boxes are people hosting major qualifier events for a no, I'm just saying you can game? do other things. It doesn't have to be Friday Night Magic. Come play every week. It could be your your store does a monthly event and you know you do a ten dollar monthly event and it's a bigger deal. You can do four player events. You, you can run things through your like the I don't know. I, you, I, I mean, mean the sure, point- you could, well, regardless of what they are, it's hard to get people. We've talked about this. You've said this. It's hard to get people to them without product. That's my I, that's my point. I agree. I'm just saying from Sorcery's perspective, it might not matter if it's a weekly event or not to get boxes. Okay. Opinion. So whatever time frame you want to put on it, man, like <laughs> weekly, monthly, biannually. You know what? Maybe it's one event per year. Maybe that's go. the cash cow. There it's one go. event per year. Yes, George. Something... Just keep this in the back of the noggin there, Dr. Josh. Sorcery does not shine in limited. That is not their strongest format. No, that, not, I mean that's fair. So help me Christ if you argue with that. You could your your back will break <laughs> from the weight from the weight of the water Hold if on. you start arguing that point. I am fine with you saying it can be done. That's totally fair to me. That's, saying that's like sorcery's best format. I'm not saying the, that's sorcery's best format. All right, then, then pipe down there. I'm I'm saying, boy. What then I was going to say is boy. that they have come out and said Arthurian Legends is aiming to be a, a limited set. I have heard. I don't want to get into this. Um, I've heard this line before for other games. George, um, just, just oh, to oh, talk oh, about Will oh, you oh, stop oh, throwing oh, what oh, happened to oh, us oh, with other oh, games oh, oh, onto sorcery? Oh, oh, and oh, onto what I love, how I'm defending. It's really hard you. not to when it's like it's like, two oh, different we have companies coming out. <laughs> they're just from the same country, but they're different companies. You know what I think they really should do is a history pack for sorcery. I think that'll go well. No, Every three not. years, baby. What a so, terrible product. I think, like, I I do think like once you have your sorcery deck, you can run events for it. Now, I think like your like, to Josh's point, it hurts to not have prize support. Now, well, in like sorcery's defense, they get buy what, off the shelf. I, I, in sorcery's defense, they gave us the store kits. Like, I do think it cuts both ways with sorcery in a weird way because I think they do have a format that does not require active product on the shelf. What I think they might have misunderstood, though, is that stores simply don't have the incentive to run events without product on the shelf. So, yeah, like, I know, think that I I don't think you need product on the shelf. To run sorcery events the way you do magic, Pokemon, Gotkana, or even Star Wars. Like it's not it's like it, it, the game does not shine in in limited. Sure. It's not necessary to host. You don't have to have a draft for right. sorcery. Agreed. But I, like it but like it does like but it, it does hurt the incentive of stores. But again, like I will say this, like their store kits are the best store kits. Okay. You were doing good for a while. I'm always I mean, doing can amazing. I, can I criticize a few of your takes. They're a, you can be a, wrong. I agree that you don't need product to do the limited. I agree that constructed is the best way to play sorcery right now, and that's great. Um, I, I agree with Josh's side though, because this is what I've been saying for a long time, is that like for people, they want to go to the store and play and get packs as prize support. I and, literally said that. And I literally said that. Thank you for confirming what I said. I, I think like when it comes to the organized play kits, I think the beta store kits were really, really good for the first two weeks of beta. Yeah. But once everybody in my store got the play mat and the, yeah. the promo cards, now it's like, why, why nobody wants that stuff. So like what star Wars did is oh like god. star Wars oh has packs god. that are, Oh my god. They're the, the organized play packs. I actually think source should look into doing something like this. Cause it solves some of the, the release cadence stuff where you get a pack of three cards and it, you know, the way that works is every player gets one pack of the three cards right. and it's got alternate art of, um, of the cards from the, the set. I sure. think that's a real, and there's only 20, like the win of them is there's only 20 of them. So you can get 20 cards and there's 20 of them in foil or I don't even think there's 20 of them in foil. Um, and so they're not like, as a consumer, you don't want to hold, you don't want to buy a box because you have so many freaking duplicates. It'll be unbelievable, but you want to go to your events and play to get those things. So I think it's, it's a cool, uh, unforgiven great Metallica song. Cool. Um, anyway, nailed it. I'm just, I'm at a loss. I don't, I'm so confused. I don't, 
this just seems like n- not a positive. <laughs> what doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. We're having a lot of conversation around something that seems very clear to me. And I, Louis yeah. carrying water, got yeah, broken I, holes. It, <laughs> Why it, is it not a positive? What, explain to me from an LGS standpoint. This is a this is a win, Mike. Like, what, what's the win from an LGS standpoint? Because in seven months you're going to have boxes, Josh. What don't you understand? Because before we had no communication, before there was no information on if we were getting more boxes, when we were getting more boxes, or how. All, the only communication was, oh, you want to run event? This wasn't from Sorcery. This was from the community. Oh, you want events? Just go buy boxes from your competitor where you're, sure. where, and, and support your competitor in order to run events to break even, not make any, you know, right. not whatever. Let me push back against that one point. You're right. This is communication that you're getting boxes. You're also getting boxes at the some unknown number of boxes declared to be limited on the exact same day that you would have been able to run events anyway because you're already getting the next product. Right, but the, like, you're, the you're already, you're already, not you're already running events. Beta. Beta. So then your solution is just no more beta. What? What? No. What? So how are they supposed? I assume that they are trying to get the beta boxes out as soon as possible. That they're not like, hey, we're just going to delay this until our Thurian Legends because we're bored. Well, but but this but this is the risk when you choose to do this massive gap. You have to have a contingency plan in place for this situation, and not having a contingency plan, not being able to do right. seven months without beta boxes, and then the very first day you can get them to the game store happens to be that has to be a choice. You're telling me of the of the how many days between now and then. Would just but, but Josh, how day. long are we going to harp on the one set a year release games? They already said that Arthurian Legends and all sets moving forward are going to be released in waves to so, avoid the world from being devoid of product for large periods of time like yeah, today. And this oh, this should have been this should have been the same way. This should have been the I same way. That's been. the miss. That's that should have been waves. I think that's fair. Yes. Um, but they said they fix it. They're fixing it for the next set. I, wait, okay, but wait, hold on. You 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 you're both saying the same thing, guess poorly at each other. J- Josh is saying that they should have done waves this release for beta. Yes. Yes. Sure. Okay. And like, I think that's a fair point. I think Louis's point, which is also fair. Look at this, George, the margarita <laughs> maker. You're not going to oh, do it right. Look, would you, birthday boy? You kill out. Louis's point is that <clears throat> they know that they should have done this that way this time, and now they're fixing it, and they deserve credit for fixing that. And I think that's a fair point. I don't like you on margaritas. You're God. weird. <laughs> I I just had flashbacks to marriage counseling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, no comment. Uh, I think it's a win. And so, the, want me to say your point again, Louis? No. Okay. The the big <laughs> I got your back. thing. The I big like thing that I think has time. been a win too is that the the collector community sees us as a god as a win oh my god which i think is fair oh my god what no what i am not indulging the collector community i will not do it but you want so you want unlimited to be not existing because you don't want too many boxes no 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 he doesn't no. want a third That's version not of all the card. anybody has ever said on this you, podcast. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is why marriage counseling doesn't work. <laughs> you're, there's some projecting going on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, where did you hear that? What are you talking about? Like, where did you possibly get that <laughs> argument from? When you were I have said the exact opposite the entire time. When you were oh unlimited. Yes, unlimited is a bad idea. Yes. Reprinting beta is a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's Lo- move on. Lots of beta, <laughs> no unlimited. Like, Ready? Lots of saying... beta, no <laughs> unlimited. Like what the... I don't understand what you people want. The, uh, b- we want to lo- reprint we want lots beta. Of beta, no <laughs> unlimited. Is that clear right. enough for you, Louis? Do you need me to bring... hold on? I'll use my therapist's voice, Louis. What were trying to project is that we think that beta is a special enough product on its own that it can stand additional reprints and so we believe adding additional boxes okay, of beta to the market do... would be better than printing a new box but, of okay, unlimited. Hold on, hold on. don't you think though don't you think that if they were if they were going to do that 
then that should have been communicated that that was the desire of beta. They never said they were done printing beta. That's they, fair. they, in fact, explicitly yeah. said they're not saying that several okay. times. And also, that'd be stupid to say they're done printing beta. Like, Pokemon doesn't have... Like, Pokemon has reprinted boxes years later. Games don't do with that the same cards. Yeah, but- this is not a print anymore. Not good ones. Like, nobody does this. Because it's... because. Two companies tried it, failed for both. Yeah. Terribly. <laughs> I don't have a pack handy it's somewhere. That's her. That's her. That's like, her. it makes no sense to have a different <clears throat> kind of box. That's her. The, like, it makes the consumer that buys the cheaper box feel less than. Like, that's I don't what, think like, that's... I, I, that's why they don't work. There. That's why it doesn't work. You lose me there. Like, why do you think they don't work then? They don't work because they print way too many of them. Those no. games printed way, no. way, way, way too many of them. They did not. That, I mean, like, hold on, my dog's stepping on my microphone. Like, that was not the problem with, like, CN2. CN, yeah, CN2. Oh, it was one I, I million mean, percent I, the problem for CN2. They the printed, for CN2. They printed <laughs> 100 billion. We use CN2 for packing peanuts for the last six years, and there's still too many. You guys, by the way, doing extremely well, because now you're using Nightfall 1st Edition as packing Just peanuts. Just me. So. George is out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, um, the people that bought box openings on the channel because this last week you got Nightfall First Edition in your in your boxes. <laughs> as we, oh, I'm spreading your love. <laughs> as we continue, that's not love. That's what loves come from. <laughs> that's the side effect of love. <laughs> as we continue into the sorcery topic, you need some uh, medicine on that. <laughs> I would like to. I would like to share that we have new mm. sorcery paired play mats available. So no, are, no, we are only pumping your shirt. This no, 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 no. Do no, not buy that sorcery pump. No, and then we got to no. talk about Baltimore. Um, oh so my god, we got two, two, a new play, paired play mat. This is artwork that I was going to use for Arthurian Legends. George, you'll love this. Uh, but instead, we're doing it now because I don't want to wait seven months to <laughs> ship them. <laughs> Do you feel weird producing place play things play mats three times as fast as they're producing boxes? No. No. no, people, dude. Okay, so at my event, everybody showed up without play mats. Like of the forty whatever people who played, really? two people brought play mats. Two. That's not a great look. No, it's a terrible look. The community doesn't understand that you're supposed to bring a play mat to your TCG event. That's it was really wild. Weird. It was wild. So you are only allowed to buy the play mat if you also buy a T-shirt. Do a bundle. Do a That's bundle. Do a true. bundle. No, I'm not doing that. So you can get uh, the paired play mats, which are cool because there are two play mats for $35 that makes one art scene when you put them together. Uh, and that's pretty cool. And then we also have a brand new four player play mat uh, that has a four player grid on it. Refill. That's uh, really you cool. And the kitchen table at TCG logo. Those are available at gamegrove.gg. And now let's talk about the, the, quarters, the, <laughs> the quarters and cup. Uh, so for the cup, there's a bunch of things, June 14th, 15th, and 16th in Baltimore city. That is the sorcery social. What are you showing Josh? I thought we were pumping playmats. There's an arcane fortress, hometown TCG collab. You can use promo code hometown TCG and get these sweet playmats. That's cool, buddy. Yeah. Um, oh, are we, are we not doing that anymore? Is that section over? No, I'm sure it'll come back. I'll hold on to this. It'll so be the it'll sorcery social is June 14th, 15th, and 16th. I'm going, uh, I'll be there for at least a couple of days. Uh, that's in Baltimore. Uh, you can go to sorcery, sorcery, social, sorcery dot social. I don't remember what the website is. Uh, um, if you Google sorcery social, it'll pop up. Uh, we've got artists there. Uh, don't worry, creators, George, we're not done. Jeff, Jeff Mangus. You know, advertising. Drew Tucker's going to be there. Who the uh, hell is Drew Tucker? Wow. You know who Drew Tucker is? How He's that? He's that AI artist. Very oh, he's the AI artist? Magic artist. Uh, uh, Two Fluent's going to be there. Uh, tons of people are going to be there. going to be cool. I think even uh, I think even Simon, I heard a rumor Simon oh. and Chase are going to be there. If Simon's here, that's a big deal. And <laughs> and they're going to have spoilers for Arthurian Legends. Which are you cool. going? I am. No, pass. Yeah. If I can get there with the whole bridge thing, I don't know how that affects getting there or not getting there i'm not gonna take a boat i know that is it in baltimore not city <laughs> yeah well hold on it's probably better to take the boat than it is the, the car isn't there like a whole bridge in the water I think yeah, you but gotta, do you have to take a plane <laughs> have sorcery fly you in on a helicopter yes yes simon um, 
Make it the unlimited. Make it oh, the, the unlimited. website. The website's right here. Spring that sorcery that social. The unlimited. Uh, Seventy five dollars for the weekend. Unlimited um, copper. Are we? And still it's gonna be going? awesome. Oh. Uh, they told me to say that I am going to oh. provide complimentary Parmesan cheese to all the players in the Cordesian Cup, but I am not going to do that because <laughs> I don't know how to get that much Parmesan cheese there without a boat. How many? How many players do you think there's going to be? What is going on in this pump? So I'm just going to sharing info. Just sharing info. That is, that All is right. not what's happening here. I that's, always share info. Now it's time for the pump. That's pump Star Wars. Shout out to Bob Iger. Da, da. Dude, I got a Star Wars Dude. Millennium Falcon Lego today. My Can we just blow you. through sorcery without talking about how the box, the EV is not more than the box anymore, so it's not good anymore? Uh oh. We get. Through the all it's still going up like crazy though. Well, let's go back and talk about more sorcery. You guys want to talk about sorcery EV? I'm in, baby. Sorcery EV right now is $270 a box on 42. On 326. Can you do that gif again for me? On 326, it was $234 a box. Seems it, healthy. Seems healthy. It seems like a normal could market. EV going up. It's, it's less. Gonna, it's significantly less than the price of the box. Well, boxes pump way faster than the EV. It all it says mm. is that the singles prices are undervalued now. Is that what it says? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I have no clue. I have no clue what that means. I would not. I would very much caution somebody who doesn't want to risk money uh, to not buy any beta. Don't listen to Louie. All at, in, baby. At all until the market settles down. I think the most of the community want, is listening to you already. <laughs> if there's something you want, and the EV is close, the boxes are at three hundred dollars, and the EV is two hundred and seventy, and climbing up. So what do you want? Oh, I I want you to say the inverse of what you said when the EV was more and how great it was. But we're waiting for the market to balance out. If ba boxes balance out oh at two hundred and sixty-five dollars, how much Advil do you take every day, Louie? <laughs> I'm worried about your back with the water you carry. <laughs> that is the gymnastics that you do. You're well, I'm not doing any man. gymnastics. You are Wait, telling me that you're I the one who said it. This is your take. I think last tank. week boxes were two hundred dollars and the EV was two hundred and thirty-four. I said so. It's, that so was it's thirty bucks the other direction. It was great. Is the best but, thing. It shows how, just how had strong boxes it is. get sold out, and the EV instead of going down for for the EV, we're now going up, and boxes spiked really fast because it's one product that gets bought out really fast, and now we're waiting to see where that balances. Okay, that's wild. It's not wild. That it was is not a wild take. Thirty dollars. It is the exact amount in the opposite direction. I didn't yeah. know the math was that. <laughs> I didn't know it was exact. I didn't know, I didn't know exact it was. Amount. But that's one pretty good. Is going up as opposed to it that's used to pretty be going good. down. It's like the universe just wanted it oh, to happen God. this way. All right, I give up. I give up. You're right. I'm an idiot. Is that what you wanted me to say? I think you're beautiful, and people should buy your shirts. Here we go. I think you should have made talls. That you Josh, said you were going to make a tall. Josh, talk to us all about your new favorite game, Star Wars. You didn't make a tall. No, he said he was going to make a tall. He make, no, actually, he said he was going to I, I have no control two. over it. You can Lowry. write a letter to comfortcolors.com and they will tell you why they hate Is tall. Is that people. the site that Jagged's grandfather uses? <laughs> What's wrong with comfortcolors.com? They're Nothing. the homies. I actually don't know. know that. Is that those the people that make your shirts? No, that's the brand of shirt. Comfort Colors. They're really oh. soft shirts. Wait, oh. really? Yeah. They're I like a soft shirt. You've never worn a comfort color shirt? No. I've never really. They're like really nice. Like they have Hawaiian shirts. No, when have would you, I worn one then? Have you never worn a t-shirt? <laughs> I have sometimes. When I fix arcade games, I wear them because I get like gross. I'm a I'm a true classic guy. I need the true classic t-shirts because they have talls and they're nice and soft. I like Hanes. Mm. There's no Josh option. Oh, sorry. All right, Josh. What's new in Star Wars? Well, then what do you mean what's goes. new in Star Wars? Set collecting, dude. It's all about set oh collecting God. now. Did you guys see that George Lucas is now the richest celebrity? It, what? I don't buy that. I buy that. Who else would be who else would it be? Taylor Swift? No way. He got four billion dollars for Star Wars. Didn't Taylor Swift make like a billion dollars every night on her tour? No. Made a billion and a quarter last year. 
I think Taylor Swift could overtake him eventually, but not yet. I feel like Taylor Swift's probably there, and nobody wants to. I think that's the difference, though. Taylor's climbing. Lucas is capped, right? Like, Excuse me? Not with the Divi? Not with the Divi? I feel like we just talked about this with the Sorcery EV, and you had the opposite take on that. But we'll leave that there. That George Lucas is capped and Taylor's climbing? Well, no, Taylor's still making stuff. Sorcery's got nothing on the horizon. (laughs) And the EV of beta is still going oh up. Oh my god. Ooh, no, ooh, no, ooh. we're how not doing Taylor this. Swift, how many Taylor Swift songs come out before we get more sorcery boxes? A lot. <laughs> All right. Put in the comment section below. I wanted to do a listening party of the new Tay Tay album on in on April 19th. Put on put in the comment section we if you can't would join do me. That. Yeah, we I literally can't. Know why. It's because it's illegal. Yeah. Because Taylor Swift is so selfish that she doesn't want us greedy. to make money off greedy. of her stuff. Just greedy. And if we I, did, you know she would what? rewrite it and make May the Zoo be with you Taylor's version. It's and so I don't know if we're ready for that. Because if Taylor Swift went live and listened to this podcast and gave her opinions on the podcast, I would have no problem with it. Oh, I'd I'd have right I would have a problem with that. Go for it. Go for the throat, Louie. <laughs> I would have a problem with that. I would think you could use your time better than that. <laughs> He actually has stuff to do. I want. What if? What if your channel gets in the news because you copyright strike Taylor Swift? God, it'd be great for you. That would be awesome. That would be good for me. That would be awesome. You thought guess the card, win the card was the pump? Whew. I don't have any guess the card, win a card set up right now. All right, who right now? I got your back. Do one for me. Oh my Don't gosh! Me How cool would that be? Don't George, guess the card, win the card. George, guess the card, win the card. Josh, guess the card, win the card. No, George, is it an enchanted? No. What Disney character is it? It's a magic card. Josh, go. Artifact. No. Land. No. Instant. What color is it? No. Sorcery. No. Artifact. It's a red card. It's a creature. Okay, one mana. No mana. Zero mana. No, it's four mana. What? (laughs) Is it a questing beast? (laughs) No. (laughs) Green. Doubling season. Doubling season. It's so hard with George. Blue, orange, yeah, made this violet, with you. indigo. It was false profit. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that was my next one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was really hard. <laughs> yeah, with George. George <laughs> There's somebody in the shop who's always every time I do one, he's like, eh, "It's the same way." You're that person. Congrats, George. Um, I have there? no idea what you were just trying to say, but I'm. I, just, I, got, I got you, Louis. Louis, I got yeah. you. Why would you yeah. make fun of me? Because you were being a jerk. You're being How? Mean. You're being a jerk, man. All right, booster box. All right, Josh, go. I, I already did it. It's Louis' turn. All right, he, Louis, doesn't, he, he doesn't have any. He doesn't know any Lorcana cards. He's a Star Wars creator. All right, Louis, go. Maybe another Lorcana you. box opening coming is out it, this week, jerk. Is it a minion? I don't know what that is. Is it? Is it one of the? Is it? Wait, neither of you know any of the types of cards in Lorcana. No How does it work? No, it's, no? it's an item. It's an item. Item. Oh, is it the hat? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Shout out to our Spotify listeners. <laughs> Louis, that's that's guessing the card by knowing the George. I oh, want to do that. another one. I got another one here. All right, go again. Nope. Is it also the hat? <laughs> nope. It's an ally, storyborn ally. Is it enchanted? Maybe. Elsa. <laughs> nope. That's, that's oh, not not enchanted. Is it poo? Nope. Oh. It, I well, oh no. Eeyore. Yes. Yes. You got it again. All right. Back to Star Wars. Hold on. Uh, Star Wars boxes are, are getting closer to MSRP. They're sitting at 130 box. Really 135. What's MSRP? Uh, but, but the big news that I wanted to chat about is that one K? Uh, a PSA 10 oh, of the um of the Boba Fett. Is currently selling for eighteen hundred dollars, which seems like a lot for a PSA ten of no a game that's been out for two seconds. No, yeah, keep, yeah, keep, keep. yeah, yeah. It does. I yeah, don't it does. know, Louis. Give us, hold on, give us your full take on this. So, without like, saying the game name, uh oh, uh oh. So like, uh oh, PSA ten, the game name, PSA ten in a card game that has it's a double sided card is much easier than a PSA 10 and a regular sided card cuz they're printing both like the the way that it works it's foil on both sides there's no back there's oh, no like double foil. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's yeah. not a black background that has that can show the you know the corner dings and stuff super right. easily. I think that this is going to be pretty easy to get in a high grade, especially PSA ten is not like that hard to get for modern cards. Um, so the multiplier that this is getting is like a three to four x multiplier right now, which yeah. seems it's insane. It seems excessive. This is also the first one. It's a pop one. Oh, that's I, why. I would venture to say that with the sale of this, you'll you'll see quite a few get graded. I and, think that's this this will be like a twelve hundred dollar card. I think a two x multiplier might make sense for a ten uh, for PSA ten, but um, the three to four x doesn't doesn't hold for me. It's interesting. I didn't consider the the double faced aspect of the card when I thought about it, but that's that's really interesting. You make a lot of sense. Yeah, maybe it means less than even a two x multiplier. Especially because, I mean, you, if, if this one pops off, everyone sends what they got to grade, right? Yeah. Like, it's easier to get a high grade. I don't know, man. It's it's kind of crazy. I Stuff like this, when a game is this new, worries me. Like, this seems not great. I put mine back here with my Boba Fett. I think it's cheap. It's really? Cheap. It's right. Oh, yeah. Time. Are you just messing around? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Hmm. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. That's right. It's right. It's right there. Boba Fett. That's, that's I awesome. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so glad your camera's the right way this week. I can keep going in. Keep zooming in. Keep, just keep going in. Just oh my keep... god, the pores, dude. That's really? a really high quality camera. Yeah, dude. That's impressive. Look at my eyes. Everybody always thinks I smoke pot because of my eyes. My you have that great... is not why they think you smoke pot. <laughs> Get... <laughs> let me <laughs> let me spoil this for you. In the list of reasons I think you smoke pot, eyes aren't one of them. Mm. Hold on. Can we discuss how great your eyebrows are? I've got some serious eyebrow envy. Really? I I don't have eyebrows. I don't. I have a unibrow and I shave right here. I do too. Oh, yeah. I think you rocked that. Patented yeah. Anthony Davis. No, dude. I've done that. I've shoot. I haven't been able to grow facial hair since I've been an adult. But when I was in like that, sixth is, grade, that is definitely when I was, what I like, in sixth grade. I had a unibrow and the kids at school made fun of me. And so I started shaving it. Ah, you got you got strong eyebrows. I have eyebrow envy. I got nothing. It's not very expressive. Okay. Anyway, uh, secondary market starting to pop off a little bit for stores. Uh, the people uh, in my store who play are also like from the collecting side on Lorcana and Pokemon. It's super. It's a super funny uh, group of guys who have never played a TCG, but they never started playing Lorcana, but they collect and open Lorcana and Pokemon cards. And then one day they were just like, hey, we're going to start playing that Star Wars game. I was like, that's surprising to me. Uh, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. Kind of an interesting. Um, so the question with this is, and it's with the secondary market, the value of the box, as well as people playing is, does it have the sticking power? Right? When you start, it's the same thing with something like Disney Lorcana. When you start to expand into more niche corners of these universes, do you lose a lot of the casual fans that when you see a set that has a Darth Vader in it, it pulls in, right? Mm -hmm. And you see a set that's got a Luke Skywalker, it speaks to everyone who's watched Star Wars ever. When you start to lose some of that, that's where things can get interesting. And that's where I think Star Wars and games like that are going to have the hardest time holding on. Because the Star Wars universe, it's not the Disney, just Disney universe where you can just kind of pull from all of these movies all over the place and different versions yeah, and of characters, and right? Kind of. You're, you're going to have a little bit more struggle there, but you also have when that happens, you're also going to strengthen that core, right? If you do stick through that, it's because you truly like the stuff. I think there's a great criticism of the game. I mean, I think that's a, they went all in with this first set, right? Like there's a Darth Vader card. There's a yeah. Luke card. Right. There's a Leia card. There's an everything card. Now they can do another Darth Vader, right? Like they have, oh, yeah, they, totally they have do. subtext to the cards. Yep. And they um, will. And they will. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think you're going to see a lot more of that than you maybe think that you're going to see. Like, I don't think that they're going to, I don't think they're going to go super deep and do like a star Wars Ashiok set where it's like the vast majority of people don't, I guess maybe I'm. The is it? Do now, you mean Ash Ashoka or whatever? Ashoka? I don't know what. It, yeah, but that's Ashiok what I mean. is the planeswalker in Magic. Yeah. That was just like a weird. I I just yeah. saw someone play an Ashiok on MTGO like this week, which is very weird. The new Star Wars show that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, I just like, tried, I just started watching that. It seems okay. Dude, I watch. I've been watching uh, three 
three world problem, three something problem on Netflix. It's crazy. I don't even know. I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm so lost. Three being problem, three something problem, three problem Netflix. Whatever it is. Three body problem. Three bots. That's crazy. Dude, you guys need to watch it so we can do conspiracy theory episode. <laughs> you guys got to watch it. It's so I made good. a conspiracy theory channel in the Discord just on the off chance you ever pop your head in. <laughs> the the premise of the movie or the show is that uh, somebody makes contact with aliens. Oh and the alien, I and cannot they, believe you almost had me watching this. They they make contact with the, like the alien that's a pacifist. And the alien's like, you need to stop contacting us because we will destroy your world. And her response is like, no, destroy it. We can't, we, we can't save ourselves. We need you to fix our problems. <laughs> so this one lady like completely throws the whole world in the, under the bus. It's like the George of, of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's super good. You have catching strays. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> you were on your phone. You yeah, do more. Yeah, um, do more. Anyway, Star Wars seems right. to be doing good. It's supposed to be a reprint this week from Asmodee or restock this week from Asmodee. We'll see how many boxes. There was a very small stock last week from um, Southern, but I've had a lot more people than I thought. And and again, maybe it's because we live in our world, and when you make content about something, people feel more comfortable reaching out to you. I've had a lot more people than I would have imagined reach out, talk about set collecting. And then I started thinking about it. And it's it's interesting because of the hyperspace variants and the foils and how rare something yeah. can be. Like it seems like you've got the the depth of something that's, you know, there's a lot of collectability to it because there's so many versions of something. But also that we've seen that backfire, right? When yeah. everything when Looking there's at you cryptic. What? Looking at you cryptic. Yeah, we've seen that backfire in the past. So it's I wonder how far the IP can carry that love of set collecting. How, how far, like, it? He'll be yeah, I like how having Star Wars, like to collect all the Vaders or something so like that. I can say from my perspective, I have zero interest in doing a set of this. I don't think the yeah. art's that good. Yeah, but you admittedly aren't very high in this game to begin with. Like, oh, I'm what? super what? high in the game. What stupid high in the game? I don't, know, I, I don't know what world you're in. Hold, but hold on, all hold on. he does you, is talk about not, stupid Star Wars. Did you not? Did you not see what I was doing there? I'm. I was trying to protect I'm, us, Louis, for when it inevitably fails. We can. I'm pretty ourselves. high in this game, but I don't really want to be public. That I'm high in the game because you guys will be like, Louis, just pumping the game. So I'm just choosing to be pretty. DL. What are you talking about? I'm all in, baby. Um, I think for me, I'm the showcases. I, I kind of want to collect all the showcases. Because the showcase art is super cool. Yeah, I don't want to collect a, all, a whole set of anything else because I don't think it looks that good. Um, and there's too many variants. The hyperspace thing, the non-hyperspace thing, I, I'm not a fan. Just make one variant. I, foil, non-foil. No. Know. it's Listen, it's 2024. One set a year. It's 2024. You can't. I'm not a fan of just one one card and a foil version of that card. I'm okay with some variants. The question is, does every card need a variant? And so, like, that's, that's the nuance that I, I think is more interesting than variants. All variants are just bad. See, I think the weekly play promo variants are so good looking. Like, I think those look so much better. I wish they were foiled. Aren't aren't they all? There are some of them are foil. Some I of saw them are foil. some of them were, but isn't there ones you can't get in foil? Yep. I think you can only get like four or five of them. In yeah, foil. that that bugged me. I wanted to be able to get the whole set in foil. But I actually think that's good because it prevents people from like, like it prevents stores from stealing the packs. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, I like that the expensive some doing that. That's just how play packs work. I like that like the most expensive thing you can get is like ten to fifteen bucks. Like yeah. I think that's I think that's a good. I don't know. You know what that means? Hmm. Market hasn't caught up yet. Let's get in there, Louis. Oh no, my God. Not, you and me, baby. Not there, baby. You and me, baby. Not there. Um, there's a bunch of events popping up for uh, May the Fourth. Be with you too. Uh, that's gonna be cool. We're gonna do uh we're gonna do like a win a case or win a something for it. Um Bob Iger is so good at TCGs, it's like amazing. Am I the only who's, that? That? who's that guy? Is that, that is that the former CEO of Disney? That's the current and oh, former CEO. The vote hasn't happened yet. Doesn't okay. He's got the All right. He got the All right, let's move on. Speaking of Bob Iger, let's go to his game. Uh they're both his game. God, Bob Iger's really carrying this industry. Should they or should they not reprint first chapter? Go. 
strap on that water. Um, yeah, of course they should. Like, I mean, like they could. At least do, you're they, consistent. They could call it unlimited. <laughs> they could have, they could have polka dot borders on them though, and little Mickey smiling at you. Hidden Mickey border. Hidden Mickey border. Okay. Um, what do you think the company's going to uh, do to add to the box for the next reprint, George? In, in a great what point, way? Josh. Okay. In what way should they reprint it? What does that look like? They could just. Are you, I'm glad you're sitting down for this, Louie. You ready for this? You know the box that exists right now is first chapter? They could print more get. of that box. You are wild to think that if Disney reprinted first chapter, that distro would sell it to us at distro costs and that it would... It depends it would, on the print run. It absolutely depends on the print you're, run. No, you're insane. You're and insane. You're they an have insane done that, human. They have done that for the first wave of every release. You're an insane person. They have done that for the first wave of every release. Not for reprint. If, if the first they, wave of every reprint, the first wave this, of every reprint I've gotten at normal distro cost. If is there also, isn't that not a Disney Lorcana or Ravensburger problem? That's a distribution problem, right? Like, what do you want? What do you what do you want Bob Iger to do, Louis? He's only one man. I I think if they're going to go that route, they need to have allocations that are as strict as they're they are with um with the new boxes when they come out. Where they do the allocations and it's allocated. I don't think by... they do that as much anymore. They, now, they didn't do that as much for Inklands. Like they, 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 to... they printed enough. Yeah. yeah. I, like they, just need to, like, they just need to print it to the ground. This like, is they... going to quickly become if you want a first chapter box, you have to take a case of Inklands decks. That's what this is going to quickly become. I don't become. think so. Like, I mean, there'll be some of that, but I don't think there'll be a ton of that. I mean, like. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a much, lot of that. It's going to be a lot of that. It doesn't. Distro has I, no does. problem sitting on three hundred dollar boxes. I think they're going to print this back to a hundred twenty dollar box. You think? Hold on. No shot. It has you think they're going to print one hundred twenty dollars? Yes, it's been one forty. When? Maybe for like a second. Yeah, I think that's what I think that's what I think the goal is. The goal is to get it back to a round MSRP, and that's I don't think the they can't. I don't they think. absolutely can. They just kind of print Elsa a lot of it. is a fourteen hundred dollar card. The second it, that this goes down be. to one hundred and twenty dollars, people are just going to buy the crap out of it to pull Elsa. Well, it's not. It's not their fault. They make too good of a game. Yeah, game. So fine. this is where I think they should just not reprint it. What? They should just keep having product come through. Oh my god, the box is three hundred dollars today. Yeah. What? Yeah. Holy this should just be released God. in mass and quantity at big it was, box retailers. It was 145, 150 on January 3rd. I mean, that's not crazy. Yeah, and before that, it was $400, and now it's back to $300. It was $150 I mean, for a second. They, they just got to keep reprinting it until the market like, – keep reprinting it until the market cries uncle. This isn't hard. Make, make the market cry uncle. Yeah. Like mm, I think they're gonna do that first, I worry to. I worry that Dish is gonna let that happen. That, that's I think point. they will. If you print up, I mean like if they print as much as I think they need to, Dish is gonna get rid of it. They have to. Okay. I think they should allocate it like just how they do with like a new set. So I think I, I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me. I guess I think it's not necessary. If they print enough. Yeah. I'm I'm fine with products going up I will say in value over time. Again. Like I was like I'm like, man, England's better. Uh, don't fail me, Bob Iger. I love you. The, the, <laughs> Nothing tells not you so much. You, um, you you just said you want the market to cry uncle? I want okay. the first edition market to cry uncle. Well, this next set, the market's going to cry uncle. No way, baby. Ursula's got... You know what? I rewatched A Little Mermaid. Such a good movie. I, I'm Such a good movie. not concerned about the new set. You're not, not concerned about unlimited boxes or fourth sets. Are you feeling okay this week? I'm not really? <laughs> concerned. Are you about feeling the okay? Set. I'm. Listen, I went double. I think I went double or triple. I can't remember what I went with. Uh, Inklands. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought you were gonna say like a, like a double scoop of ice cream. I was gonna be all that follows. Like I thought that's where this is going. I don't know why I thought that. I'm pretty. I, I think like I think they've held their. I don't know. I think it's good. Good. Well, Inklands and Inklands and Floodborne have both held steady value, which yeah. is surprising. Way, way better than I thought. Yeah, exactly as I expected. Which is um, why I question the next set. <laughs> why though? Like, I don't four know. set, four set curse. God, because because listen, we don't live in this this beautiful world that we want to live in. Something generally goes wrong. Like most people, they are, already uh, did that. They printed their boxes without solving. Top of Iger's fault. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> totally unfair. They taped them. 
there's tape on this box. God, I always, it doesn't matter how many times we do this podcast. I forget that the boxes behind you are empty. Yeah, that it's one's such empty. a scam. It's so, Oh, the shark fell. Not this one. That one's it's, not empty. It's such a scam. That's not. What box is that? This is first chapter. Box. Do you remember when oh. Josh ordered the first chapter boxes from not America? And oh, <laughs> he yeah. Got, yeah. He got scammed. He was so mad about it. No, it wasn't. I got my money back. Mm-hmm. George, m- sorry, not George. My advisor through the process explained to me that nothing bad could happen. Nothing bad could happen if you're a buyer. Nothing bad ever happens to buyers on eBay. I'm convinced. Um, like, listen, I think they got. I think they got to keep reprinting this. Like, I think because if not, it's gonna get out of hand. If not, sure. boxes are gonna be 500 in a couple months, and that's just like it's way too much for a box of a game that's been out for five minutes. Yeah, but they got to They got to reprint it. And also, like, else, like I like you know. Elsa can't be a fourteen hundred dollar card this quickly. I no, it's too fast. I, I want an Elsa. Me too. Buy one. Buy one. No, I'm not going to buy one. I want Go one. Go Dan. There. Buy the box. Support the divvy. I appreciate that, Louie. Boxes are three hundred dollars. Yeah. What, do you think you just made it up? It's crazy. Actually, uh, that's like I mean, like the boxes could literally hit four or five hundred dollars rather quickly. There's a lot of them though. Not that many. I mean, like it went up fifty bucks the last like two weeks. Yeah. Like went up more than that in March twentieth. Yeah, March twentieth. It was two hundred forty bucks. Like, wow! It's been like a week and a half, up fifty bucks. That's wild. I like a lot of that too. Is like we said, the the Elsa hit a price point that drew a lot of attention. Yeah. So, Elsa not to one K. That'd be too hard for my girl Elsa. Let it go. You know oh, what? Frozen, the wrong Elsa. Frozen, really good movie. You know that Disney 100 promo set did not do didn't nearly do as anything. Wild. I, I do not understand. I don't understand it. How is that not the product? How did is that not nothing. the product? There's only like there's not that many listed cards too. Like the the Elsa only has 15 listings. Like it's absolutely crazy. This doesn't make any sense. Let it go. Let it go. Should have been a better product. God, uh, oh, that so the problem Frozen has is that song is so unbelievable. It overpowers the rest of the movie. I think that song is just obnoxious is the problem. What? It gets stuck in your head. What? It's just so bad. Let it go is a bad song? It's so annoying. Listen, dude. Listen. Anything in the Trolls movie, anything a weird movie. Elsa, I'm out on. Troll movie is a weird movie. Dude, you really all, don't like Let It Go? I mean, I I don't want to say I don't like it. It's I'm probably annoyed fine by the first 300 times. No, yeah. it only gets better. It's like Tay-Tay songs. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. what's your favorite Disney song, Louie? Oh, we just watched Hercules again this week. Good one. There's a lot of good songs in Hercules. Aladdin I, is a I don't classic. Think oh, Aladdin's I can. so good. Probably something in Lion King. Hercules. Lion King oh, is yeah, always, yeah. I mean, that's a blue chipper you God. can't miss. Disney is so goat. There's a reason they call it Goat Kana. Okay. I forgot how great Lion King was. God, good po- I, good, I can't good watch podcast. Lion King anymore. Like the middle of the middle of the movie gets really depressing for me now. I can't watch it anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, mm, I don't like watching this. Like when Simba goes to the dad, he like tries to pull him alive. I'm like, I don't know, man. That's a little dark. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty that's heavy. A little, a little sad. It's like I remember like even as a kid being like, This is some dark shit, man. Where's Bob Iger on this? It's pretty heavy. Okay, everybody. Good podcast. Buy a t-shirt from Louie at gamergrove.gg. They're going to be on sale this week only. Unless you're unless you're tall. There's no margin for it to be on sale. If you put down birthday 10 in the discount code box, you won't get a discount, but Louie will get a birthday card. Nope. It'll just say discount invalid because I'm going to forget about that. That's code for Louie gets a birthday card. But if you are a blue wizard... Or a gold wizard, God, or an old patron. Names. It's the dumbest names. You what the Harry do Potter have a bullshit is this? Code. You do have a discount code, um, and you get tokens with the shirts too. You get a what? token. Oh, of the, the thing. stupid token thing. The tokens are sweet. Show the tokens. I don't pump. have one here. I don't have one. What's wrong with How can I pump your bags if you don't have your bags to pump? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go subscribe to Josh's channel, Hometown TCG. No, member. Join the join the Discord server at kitchentabletcg.com and hometowntcg.com. I don't know if that's right or not. Nope. Yep. Um, have a great day. Remember to be kind to people around you. May the zoo be with you. And the margaritas mm-hmm. with you. Also with you.